Hello there, I am Giant Quill with my Pokemon Diamond. We do, in the last part we took on the Heart Home City Gym, the 5th Gym, and we got our 5th Gym badge. And now we're going to go to the route south of Heart Home, which is about 2012, because I forgot, I didn't really cover this earlier, but like some of the Pokemon will be like under leveled, or like lower level than my Pokemon, obviously. Um, it's not quite night time, but it's almost night time, it's like um, the end of the afternoon point in the game, I guess, in time wise. Uh, if you surf over there, which you can actually surf now that we have the 5th gym badge, and you, if, as long as you have a Pokemon that knows the move surf in your party too, then you can surf and go across the water and stuff, but there's no item over there. It's just there to check you out. I'm pretty sure there's not an item over there. I could check with my dowsing machine, but I don't know. I don't really want to check really, because I know that this is the Rose instance, and I'm going to be switching the big root on my Rose held item um to this rose instance right here which raises the power of grass type moves so it's pretty cool i'm gonna actually do that now i'm gonna go over as many surfing spots as i can in the next couple parts i think it may take one more more than one part though obviously because there's a lot of places, places to surf and stuff plus i have to cover this route and i won't be covering the muddy route as i said even using a game controller as my controller it's still annoying to try to like force yourself out of the mud and move all over uh, move all around and the mud's just not really helpful and you get stuck in it like every five seconds, honestly. But yeah, let's go to Rose and give item. We'll give Rose the uh, Rose Incense. And then, yeah, I'll switch it with the big root. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, um, I know that you can run into Pokemon while you're surfing, so hopefully I don't. I don't have a Pell on. Dang it! I just ran into Psyduck there. <laughs> Yeah, um, let's see here. If I can get down there, that'd be great. This D-pad is so <laughs> it's tricky sometimes. Okay, I'm, this is supposed to be a double battle. There we go, I made it, okay. I want it to be a double battle, so goodbye quicker, I guess. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Um, well, if it pleases you, would you care for a Pokemon battle with me? Sure, why not? So this is a gentleman and a lady trainer, so that's pretty cool. I've never battled a young trainer like you before. It's quite- I'm quite nervous. Okay, so Rose grew level 32 in that last battle. So I'm gonna switch to Inferno and Rose, or Inferno and Rose. And he's in a Spear Berry right here, so let's pick it. And then the one, the, no, the berry next to it is a Citrus Berry. So very worth picking up. Heals um, 30 HP of one Pokemon, and can be used as a held item to heal in battle, when the HP gets full half or so, around that area. Um, oh, here's an item. What is it? What's the item though? <laughs> It's a um, TM11 sunny day, which is very cool. Uh, it makes it so it's like sunny out, so solar beam takes like one turn instead of two turns to uh, use it. Uh, and um, it powers up the um, f fire type moves when it's bright and sunny, and uh, it decreases the power of water type moves when it's sunny. And I think that's really all its effects, really, for move wise. If it affects like what, what, with moves and then um, type moves and all that. Yeah, um, I'm going to put a repel on so I don't run into a Pokemon. Because this is a big, you know, area of grass, so it's okay. Here's an item. I think it's an Ether. Yeah, an, oh, an Elixir, my bad. Okay, is there an item over there? It looks like there's an item over there. Just have to surf on this water. Oh, some more berries. I think it's, uh, I can't guess. That. Wait, these are rare berries. I haven't seen them that often. A Lumberry. Awesome. Nice lumberry. Dang it! Didn't want to press it again. There we go. Uh, tamoto berry, tamoto berry. Okay, cool. So very worth picking up. You never know when I'll ever need them. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll need them. But you know, we'll just continue on. If we go up here, I think this is the entrance to the Pokemon Mansion. So let's do that. Okay, um, here's another double bottle. This double bottle right here gives you a lot of money and stuff, so it's very worth trying to, to test your luck and beat them, because they give you a lot of money afterwards if you beat them. So let's take them on. I have Inferno and I have Bronze up front. 
I'll have a I'll have you know my Pokemon sleep on a fancy imported bed. That's cool, I guess. I'd like to begin now. Are, are you quite prepared? Sure, why not? Okay, um, Bronze got paralyzed in that last battle, so let me heal up his paralysis real quick. So let me do that. There we go, all good as new. And we can enter the Pokemon Mansion. So, let's see here. Let's go through the middle door first, I guess. This is the Trophy Garden. You can find, like, uh, Pikachu and Star Avia here. And a couple other Pokemon, too. I think, like, Veneri and stuff. So it's very worth, um... Is there an item back there? I want to see if there's an item. Do I have a fell still on or... Dang, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna see if there's any item here. Is there a hidden item in these flowers? Nope, there is not. Okay. Yeah, but that's cool. And to the left we go. Let's go in here. Uh, if you're not... I'm not uh, wolfing off. Uh, I just I'm just taking a personal break. Okay, cool. Wait, I should check the trash cans too, cause sometimes they have items in them. Yeah, like that. We have a, we found a burn heel in the trash can. Nice. Okay, and then we got this room. I guess the trash can is empty. And what do you have to say? Um, you know how to catch Pokemon. You know how to catch Pokemon. You know how you can catch Pokemon in the trophy garden. If you pick this, if you put this on a caught Pokemon, it warms it up to you faster. I'll share it with you, so give it a try. I think this is a Sooth Bell she's talking about. Yeah, the Sooth Bell raises happiness and stuff. It's a very useful item. If you're trying to raise a Pokemon like a Zubat that needs to evolve into Crobat, well, first of all, into Golbat like level 22, and then evolve from Golbat into Crobat by, with friendship and stuff. So that's a very helpful item, you know, that'll help him out real good. Here's a great ball. What's on the TV? Um, a trainer's day. Uh, this program offers unique look, looks into the daily lives of trainers. We cover a variety of topics that affect, affect and concern trainers. Let's examine one aspect of a trainer's day. Welcome to another episode of What's Fishing? Trainers with Rods. As always, we have the fishing master as our guest speaker. Uh, fishing Master says, hmm, today we look at Steven's attempt at fishing. Using a t trusty old rod, using a trusty old rod, Steven caught a feisty Magikarp. Hmm, feisty ma fishing master. How would you rate Steven on an angler? Uh, hmm, the, the handling of the rod is c confident yet delicate. Need, this, need I say, this trainer gets an undisputed 100. A perfect 100. Congratulations, Steven. Until the next time, keep on fishing. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Use me as an example on TV. This trash can's empty. Okay. So let's move. I, I forget what's behind here, but I think you have to... It's not until later on in the game. It's off limits, she says. So, you know. Let's go to the far right, because we'll, we'll actually meet the owner soon. Of this Pokemon Mansion. Uh, Mr. Buck... Mr. Backlot is the master of this house. This is his office. He is probably in here then, yeah. Okay, um, hello, hello. Welcome to my company mansion, my applicant mansion. Uh, this, there is a lot for me to be proud of inside and outside of this home. But what makes me the most proud is my trophy garden in the back. Uh, why bother traveling afar when Pokemon are attracted by my garden? They come to me in hopes of seeing the garden. You're welcome to join them and marvel at my garden. That's very nice of you. And the spot where he says, um, Master is a truly wonderful and generous person. It's on his orders that the garden, his pride and joy, is open to all, even trainers. If we try to read this statue, this, guy will, this police officer will stop us. I'm very sorry, but please refrain from touching the statue. He can't even read it, so he keeps on saying the same thing. Okay. This, I think this is a TM, TM87 Swagger, which will raise the attack of, of your foe, your foe's attack sharply, but it'll confuse them. 
but that can also work that can be really good or really bad because if a pokemon has a high attack stat like physical attack stat it would do a lot of damage from it being confused by hitting itself in confusion but then the other 50 percent is actually attacking and if they use something like a physical attacking move it could be deadly because you know swagger raised up its physical attack sharply so the pokemon's physical attack sharply so dang it there's actually, there's no more other rooms. This one's gonna be off limits too, okay. So that's for the, that's the trophy garden. So, yeah. Let's, um, try to finish this route. <laughs> you know, it's a small route, because I'm cutting it, I'm cutting the two routes that are here in half, so I'm only exploring one route, basically. I plan to only uh, explore one route. Okay, um, down here is it's rainy and stuff. Let's go take on some double battles. I have bronze and Infer Inferno still up front. So yeah, our job is to protect the natural environment of this region. I think they have Pokemon Rangers. Yeah, they look like Ace Trainer sprites, but um, they have Pokemon Rangers probably. Are you gonna? Are you doing your part to protect the environment? I am. I am too. I recycle. So bronze grew to level 31 and lost bah. I didn't know my repel were off, but I'll put another one on. Uh, as I was saying, or trying to say, bronze grew to level 31 in the last battle, which is pretty cool. Um, he has a scientist, dude. I think he has like a cadabra, so I can use bronze's payback move and hopefully win this battle. I find it uh, reassuring to be on this damp soil. Yeah, my strategy with using, um, payback did help, so that's good. Here's an antidote. And over here's, uh, I'll cut down this tree for the heck of it, just to avoid some of the tall grass. And, yeah. Okay. I think this is the other half of the route I didn't want to do. But I could do the part where it's not, like, muddy and stuff. So let me do that actually. Let's put my last repel on, but I still have 21 super repels right there, as you see right there. So that's pretty cool. If you surf right here, I think you can get the TM for poison jab, which is a really good poison type move. Pretty sure it's right here. Yeah, TM 47, uh, 20, 34 poison jab. I might want to teach that to Rose, because I think Rose is the only one who can learn it. But I want to check out Rose's moves first too, just to make sure. Poison jab. Yeah, Rose, because the only one who can learn it, okay. Oh, wait, um, Inferno is able to learn it, but I don't want um, I don't want Inferno to learn it, you know? Which one should be forgotten? Um, You know, I'll, I'll think about it, because I still like Mega Drain, of course. I like Return. Uh, Grass Knot is really good right now for like, heavy Pokemon. So I'll probably just uh, wait on it if I do decide to, um, you know, teach Rose Poison Jab eventually. It just depends. Cause I don't have like I don't have a pl exactly planned move set, final move set for all my Pokemon. So I'm kind of going as like I'm just going as I learn and get m new moves and stuff. Uh, get more TMs and learn moves as my Pokemon do that. Learn moves and as I get TMs and all that. Here's the collector dude I think. So we'll take him on. I'm proud of my Pokemon here. I'll show you why.
Seeing that that first Geodude had a self-destruct and probably all his Geodudes had self-destruct, um, caught me off guard, but luckily I was able to, um, Rose was able to, um, recover some HP from using, uh, Mega Drain twice on, once on each of those, um, two remaining Geodudes. Yes, TM62, um, Silver Wind, I think. I didn't really read it. So, um, it's TM62, it's Silver Wind, it's a book type move. The foe is attacked by a powdery scale bone. The foe is attacked by, with powdery, uh, scales blown by wind. It may also raise the user's stats. So that's pretty cool if you have like a blood type Pokemon or a Pokemon that can learn it. But uh, I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm gonna skip out on that one. Um, I think there's an item over there. Hopefully I still have my repel on. I'm just gonna double check in a second. Let's see, do I have my repel on or did it wear off or what's the deal? Yeah, okay, it still lingers. Okay, good. Here's a protein, very worth picking up. So, that'll raise one of my stats for one of my Pokemon, I should say. So, is it in the medicine pocket? Yeah, it is. Okay, so, it'll raise the attack stat of um, a Pokemon, okay. So, I want to give that to... I'll give that to Inferno. Inferno's attack rose, okay, cool. So, that's nice. We got this, we got this. We got this, we got the, ah, repel off, we don't got this until we put another repel on. Going into my super repels now. Uh, I guess I could take on these trainers right now. But let me see how much more they're out of half, because I don't want this to drag on too long. So you have these three guys, and, well, these are optional too. And then that, okay, and then this money route. Okay, I'll take the, I'll take this girl on first. There are Pokemon that become more powerful when it rains. Yep, that's that's true. That was a fairly easy battle. I think we have to surf to get that item in the top right corner of your screen right now. So we'll have to see. Right now it's all we have to go around, okay. Um, right here you can trade in shards, I think. Uh, yeah, what does it say? Shards wanted. A technical machines offered. So I think if you get like 10 green shards, you'll get a TM for sunny day. If you get 10 red shards, you'll get the... I Well, no, I, I don't know if what the TMs are exactly, actually, so... Kinda stinks. But if you do, I think it'll show us right now. Oh, it won't show us that now. I'll uh, put text over it and just flash on screen right now what um, TMs you get. I think it's like increments of 10, so if you get, it takes 10 red shards, 10 blue shards, 10 green shards, etc. To get one technical machine of a certain move. So, yeah, um, let's take on these... Uh, Fisherman dudes. Um, I wish some fi I wish some fishing loving ladied, uh, ladied come um, along, but no, it's all just trainers. Okay, so let's take on this. I oh, man, I didn't talk to him. I actually talked to the water. Apparently, I tried to surf. Okay, what water Pokemon sure get happy when it rains? So do I. Yeah, they get wet and stuff, and they get uh, cooled off and stuff. It's really nice.
Okay, and then here's this uh, fisherman trainer right here. I meant to talk to you and face you. There we go. <laughs> Can you see I'm? Fi can't you see I'm fishing? Don't talk. You'll scare. You'll spook the fish. I almost said scare the fish, and I did. But I did say it there. Ha ha ha! Let's spook the fish on purpose. Man, teaching Grass not to Rose was like one of my best decisions for her move set, or one of the best decisions for her move set, because that just one not, one Grass not just took down that level twenty one Gyarados. But then again, I'm twelve. Rose is like twelve levels higher than it, so I don't know. I'm just I like Grass not. It works really good on the heavy Pokemon because it does a lot of damage to them. Anyway, I'm gonna fly back to the Pestoya City. Um. Pokemon Center and so yeah this has been the, I'm gonna cut the part here and end the part right here so this has been the end of my part the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide part and the next part will uh I'll show you guys all the places I know or all the places I can remember at the time or just as many places as I want I guess the way you can go surfing I won't show them all I guess because I might miss a couple honestly but um I'm just gonna show the ones that are like I remember that are decent and important hopefully I can remember them all so yeah so yeah this has been the end of my Pokemon I mean, uh, we do Pokemon Diamond redo walk the guy part and the next part will take on that and so that so yeah this has been Jai Go again I would like to thank for sure again goodbye and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond redo walk through guide